Hello YouTube and welcome to Planet Base. Planet Base is a game very similar to RimWorld if you are familiar with that game. Um, in Planet Base you also run and manage a colony. You have to make sure that your colonists have enough water, food and materials to work with and you also need to expand the base in time. The only big difference is that this game uses 3D graphics models and a top-down view. It's much like an RTS strategy game. Um, where you would play from the top and manage everything so yeah let's just uh, start a new game I guess and let's start with the most simple uh, like the easiest planet basically it's a planet very um, much like Mars in the sense that there's a nice atmosphere nice and thick um, relatively compared to other planet planets it has a lot of light we can use wind turbines because there's wind and there's a high risk for, for sandstorms because it's a desert planet. So let's name our base Jabs um, Colony for now. And let's start. And there is our shuttle, guys. I'm already hearing meteors uh, hit the planet in the background. <laughs> and there's our guys. I believe we start with seven guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And two robots. It's a carrier robot and a construction robot, I think. Constructor and a carrier bot, yes. So on this map, um, each time you play, the map is randomly generated. And this time... We are starting in an area with quite a lot of space, so that's very nice. Um, let's start off by building an oxygen generator, because of course that's the most important uh, thing that our guys need. Some oxygen. Uh, but we need to power it with some solar cells. So I think I'm going to put the power generation over on this side, and the rest of the base is going to be over on this side. So let's make sure that these guys are connected. Let's also make a power collector. The power collectors basically store energy. That's the idea at least. So let's put this guy over here, connect it. And I made it a little bit of a bigger version. Uh, you can do that by scroll using scroll. So this is our water extractor. It generates water for the base. Now if I scroll, you can see you can get a bigger version. And it basically just generates more uh, of the of that type of resource. Oh, did you see that meteor? Okay, so uh, I think water is going to be on this side, like so. Any excess power is going to be stored in the power collector. It's basically like a battery. Let's get rid of this hint. Oh, this guy is new. Show tops. Oh, right. Okay. So if I press tab, the uh, top of this dome will be removed so that we can look inside. That's quite nice. So now we need some water. And it should start generating some water now. Oh, wait. This uh, thing needs to be finished. Bam. Okay. So now it starts generating oxygen, as you can see. Which is awesome. So now we can start working on uh, some other base things like an airlock. So that our guys can get inside. Let's put it. Let's put it over here. So this is like the entrance. Okay, let's speed up the game a tiny bit to two times. So that we can, uh, so that the things are built a little bit faster. So let's build a uh, wind turbine, just so that we are not just in, uh, the, like uh, depending on the sun, because of course it will become night, and then there won't be any sun. But at night there will be wind. So let's make sure that we have a wind turbine. Let's see what time it is. Fifteen. So that's uh, three o'clock, I think. Yeah. 
colony ship. Let's just get rid of these hints. So the wind turbine is being built, and now we have a uh, a uh, airlock. So guys can get inside and walk around in the air if they want. So let's quickly uh, create a canteen so that they can start eating, uh, you know, and doing their thi stuff and th things. So the the canteen is basically like a hub. Um, you can connect stuff from all the directions. So let's put it all the way out here, and let's connect um, the dorm to that. So the dorm is a dead end. Um, you cannot connect any other stuff um, to that. So let's put it somewhere where it wouldn't annoy us. I think somewhere over here. Yeah, let's put it over here. I'm hoping we can connect it like this. No. That's okay though. So let's speed up a little bit. So now... Um, the solar panel is no longer uh, generating any power, but luckily the wind turbine is. So, you know, we are still like making more power than we are using, even though it's night. So that's awesome. Okay, this guy is slowly filling up with air as soon as this guy, um, the connection is constructed, the uh, little walkway. For some reason, th those are always um, constructed last. There we go. Everything is powered up. Let's see how much power we're using. We are using more power than we're generating. So now the uh, power collector is slowly dropping, which is okay. This is all slowly filling up with oxygen, which is awesome. As you can see, 16%, 17%. So if you look inside, um, the canteen is currently empty, but we can edit it. And then we can add uh, stuff to, uh, to this place. For example, the table where our guys can sit at. A drinking fountain so that they can drink some nice water. And I would I like to make two. Let's put a uh, TV over here so they can watch uh, the TV. And let's put a meal maker over here with, and some plants. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. Like so. And now they will start filling it in. Like making the stuff. So the dorm is also empty. We need to add some beds in here. And let's make um, four for now. Because we've got seven colonists. And they will not be sleeping all at the same time. So four beds should be enough for now. Next, let's see, the colony ship. Uh, the colony ship contains all the resources that we currently have. And we definitely should start to generate our own resources if we want to survive uh, long term on our own. So let's see, we need a... Um, let's see, let's go to the uh, exterior buildings. Water tanks, mines. I would really like to get a mine. But I'm not close enough to the mountain yet, so... Oh, I can... Whoa, that was a close hit. Okay, I can put the mine on this side. Yeah, I think that... Yeah, let's do that. It's not It's not like it will annoy us over here, so that's awesome. Um, next, we need a... Toot, 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 toot. Oh my, did you see that strike? The meteor. That looks nice. Okay, so the mine has been built. Next, we need a processing plant. And I think it would be most um, efficient to keep that close to the mine. So let's see if we can do that. Let's see if there's a space. No. Can I connect it to there? No. Okay, that's, uh, that's a little bit sad, but okay. Oh, that almost hit our mine. Well... In my opinion, there's a lot of <laughs> meteors striking. They're saying that this is the, there's very low risk, but well, <laughs> there's a lot of meteors coming in. So I think I will actually make another wind generator, and let's make uh, the big one. Okay, so the uh, processing plant 
is currently done. Let's edit a metal processor and a bioplastics processor. So next we need a, let's see, biodome. And I would prefer the larger ones, this larger one. Where can I place it? Let's place it over here. So we can add like two connections to it. So in the biodome we can grow food. But we can also grow starch. And the starch is used to make bioplastics. And the bioplastics are used for base parts. Um, this guy, the metal processor, um, processes ore into metal so that we can use it for building so we got this resource we got the metal covered we got bioplastics covered in a second we got food covered in a second and then we need spares and medical supplies so let's just wait until they um, finish this up so the connections and the large biodome like if I press that, the uh, outside will appear again. Looks very nice, right? I really like it. I really like that feature. So oxygen is dropping a bit now because it's filling this area in with oxygen. Ooh, every everything is showing red. Oh, there we go. It's slowly fighting back. <laughs> okay, so inside the uh, biodome, we should add a rice pad for starch. The starch will be converted into um, into the bioplastics, and then we need tomatoes for food, lettuce, onions, radish, and mushrooms. Slow production. Let's try something else. Uh, fast production. Okay, and a medical pad with med medicinal plants. Let's see, a hydro hydroponic vegetable pad, fast production and high maintenance. High maintenance. Uh, yeah, let's add a pee pad. And uh, let's see if um, we have enough with uh, that going on. So we should at least have uh, bioplastics coming in now and ores, so that's nice. Oh wait, I need to connect it. Oh man, I'm such a noob. I'm such a noob. And this guy, I need to connect it as well. Sometimes I'm such a noob. You should recycle the colony ship. Yes, I should. Okay, so I can just uh, recycle the colony ship and it will drop all the items on the ground. But also some uh, more metal from the ship itself. Oh my. <laughs> close hit. Very close hit. So this guy uh, should now start working. Okay, it needs maintenance, guys. Oh yeah, here is here they are. There is... Um, Biologists um, fixing the plants, making sure that their uh, condition goes up. Like right now, you can see they're going up. That's awesome. So, this guy should start working. This guy should start working. Oh, there's no wind at this moment. So, we will, will, be, we will be losing power, I think. Oh, it's okay. It's not too bad. So this guy, there's uh, three miners in the mine right now making uh, iron ore. And it's being dra dragged um, towards the ore processor, the metal processor. And if you have three ore, it will process into a single metal. So that's nice. I think I might have made too much. Yeah, I've made too much plants, I think. Okay, let's, uh, let's kill some of these items. Bam. Let's get rid of the uh, onions. And let's get rid of the tomatoes on this side. 
and the radishes. So now we have a medicinal pad, a rice pad for starch and two pads for food. And that should be enough actually. Oh, he has a broken bone. Okay, we need to fix that uh, with a sick bay. Let's add a sick bay. And I think I will actually do that on this side. Let's add it over here. And for some reason I cannot connect it up now. That's okay though. Okay, so let's check the power. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, they are fixing the, uh, the stuffs. Okay, nice. So, it seems like we are generating more power than we're using. So, that's awesome. Actually, we are generating 80 and only using 28. So, that's very nice. Should start storing a little bit more of that. Uh, once, we, once we have enough metal and bioplastics to make another power collector. Let's see. I'm just uh, looking at all these stuff stuffs that we can make. Let's make the water tank, I guess. Let's put it over here. In case we are pumping up more, more water than we're using. I'm not sure about that though. Oh wait. Um, I think we need a factory for the spare parts and able to continue to repair um, our robots. Sick bay has been built. So let's add a sick bay bed. So that the uh, guys who are injured can start working. There we go, the water tank, and it's slowly filling up, so that's awesome. It means that we are generating more water than we're using. That's very, uh, that's very good to know. Ooh, two guys are actually hurt. Two workers. So we'll need to fix that very quickly. So the factory is almost, um, oh it's done already, that's quick. Okay, so we need the uh, spares workshop to make spares out of uh, metal, I believe. I believe we can use metal to make spares and the spares will be used to repair uh, robots and biodomes, I think. Uh, the little buildings. Not entirely sure though. So this guy is not being constructed, why not? Let's recycle it and try again. Medicinal pad and place it over here. Might might be bugged or something like that. Okay, so it seems like our plants are now doing okay. Okay, this is all working now. The medicinal uh, bay is working. Uh, the medic bay, I mean, the sick bay. This guy is finished the spares workshop. It looks like I still have enough resources, so that's good. Ooh, my power is dropping very quickly. There's no wind and there's no uh, s solar, no sun. Okay, the sun is coming up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 200, 100, bam, out of power. No oxygen, guys. And there we go. Starting to generate power. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we will have to deal with this, guys. This is very bad. This is very bad, okay. Um. Let's make a big solar panel. Sandstorm imminent. Okay. There's a sandstorm blasting in. Not sure what it will do to our things. It will probably be bad, I guess. 
let's make a big power storage thing because I feel like um, storage is our problem and not uh, generation I need to be able to store a lot of power at times when there's a lot of wind like right now the uh, sandstorm is blowing the, uh, the wind turbines very very well is this guy stuck in here it might be actually Let's see. Let's see if he will he can go out now. <laughs> These guys are walking very slowly because of the sandstorm. Okay, yes. Um he was stuck in here. Good to know. So let's uh, check the oxygen levels, it's all good. Water is all good. Uh, wait. Water is all good. It's looking very good, actually. Okay, let's uh, construct this uh, walkway again. So, let's see. Am I covering everything? No. We need a lab. A lab. Because with the lab, we can uh, make more... Uh, medicine because right now medicines are being used in the sick bay uh, but I also need to be able to make some more this guy is unhappy why not sure okay so let's see all my resources I'm making spares I'm making bioplastics metal, food and medicine in a second Okay, so the spares are working. They are using metal and bioplastics. That's that's okay. These guys are slowly being built. I hope. <laughs> Let's speed up the game because it seems like it's for some reason uh, slowed down. Slowed down. It needs one metal and then they will start building probably. The base is already getting a lot bigger. Like I, I will have to scroll around just to uh, cover everything. I like how it looks though. Very cool. I really like the uh, all the circular uh, looks that it that it has. Like it's all circular. I like it. So now, in the uh, lab, we should add a workbench. And somebody will make medicine with bioplastics and medicinal plants, I think. I'm not entirely sure. But we can see in a second when that guy is done. So they should be st start working on these two uh, in a second. Oh, the robots need repair. Okay guys, so let me just uh, quickly pause the game and do my outro. So my time is up for this episode. Um, I hope you liked uh, the planet based game and if you do, I will probably continue making some more episodes because I'm enjoying it. So once again, thank you and if you haven't subscribed yet, please uh, subscribe to my channel. That would be very cool. So once again, thank you and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.